Actor Robbie Coltrane, best known for playing Hagrid in the Harry Potter films, has died. Oh, hello. Sorry, don't wish to be rude, but I'm in no fit state to entertain today. Coltrane's agent confirmed the actor's death today, saying he died in hospital in Scotland. No cause was given. The star portrayed the lovable Hagrid from 2001 to 2011, appearing in all eight of the wildly successful films in a career that spanned more than four decades. Coltrane was 72. Let's talk more about this and some other movies coming up this weekend with film critic Richard Krauss. Richard, good to see you as always. Thanks for joining us. Too bad we have to start with sad news, though, as we talk about mm -hmm. Robbie Coltrane. And I, I have to admit, I'm not familiar with the Harry Potter series, but I, I look back at his filmography, and it goes right back to 1980, playing a role of man at airfield in Flash <laughs> Gordon. So, I mean, yeah, he, some deep history he, here. He had a remarkable career. I mean, the, the first thing that really got him noticed uh, was a sketch television show uh, that he did in Britain called El Fresco. And check out this cast. He worked alongside Hugh Laurie, Stephen Fry, and Emma Thompson hmm. uh, were the other stars of that show. So he went from that and then moved from strength to strength after that. I made a lot of interesting movies. I was in uh, Mona Lisa with Bob Hoskins, uh, Nuns on the Run with Eric Idle. And the thing that I love about looking at kind of the totality of his career is that he may be best known for playing Hagrid in the ha Harry Potter movies, but he could do everything from, uh, you know, appearing in the James Bond movies like GoldenEye and The World Is Not Enough, uh, kind of, you know, big action movies, uh, to small dramas like Mona Lisa, like I just mentioned, uh, or doing Kenneth Branagh's Shakespeare adaptation of Henry V. So he was an actor with uh, a huge uh, width and breadth to his skills. Uh, he will always be remembered as Hagrid, but you know what? It might be uh, worth having a look at the streaming services and see if you can find something that's a, a little deeper cut to uh, pay tribute to Robbie Coltrane on the weekend. 